Today we're going to take a closer look at the screen reading software baked right into iOS called VoiceOver. And that's coming up right now. What's up VIPs? Derek here back with another video where it's all about helping you discover life after sight loss. On this channel we do product reviews, life advice, encouragement, and more. So if this is the first time you're seeing my beautiful face, consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss another single video. Recently I was speaking to a fellow VIP YouTuber named Sam who has a channel called The Blind Spot, and I'll link that below so you can go check him out, watch his videos, subscribe to him, and all that good stuff. But we were talking about VoiceOver, which again is the screen reading software in iOS, which you find on your iPad, iPhone, iPod, if you still have one of those. <laughs> and so we were t discussing VoiceOver because he has started a new series on his channel called VoiceOver 101. And I thought, you know what, this is a good idea. And he suggested maybe we do these, you know, back to back and we do different videos and we could bounce off of one another. So I thought, yeah, let's do it. So today, I'm gonna start that series on my channel. And we're gonna start talking about the rotor. Now, what in the world is the rotor? Is it important to you? Should you know about it? Well, spoiler alert, it is important. And so today, we're gonna to jump into the iPad. We're gonna see all about what the heck this rotor is and why it's important for you to know if you're a voiceover user in iOS. All right, guys, so here we are in the section that is general then accessibility, and then voiceover. So these are all of our voiceover settings. And the one we're on rotor. is rotor. Now what is the rotor? Well, basically you take your index finger and your thumb and you turn like a dial on the screen. Words, speaking rate, language. And it gives you different options depending on which way you turn. Now again, it's kind of like scrolling through a never ending list. Say you have five items on the list, you're gonna scroll through those five items over and over and over so that you can get that general idea. Once you find something that you want, so for example, speaking rate, speaking rate, then I can swipe up and down because that's now contextual based on what I chose. So let's swipe down. 50%, 45%, 40%, 35%. And then now my speaking rate for the voice over voice has changed. Let's swipe him back 40, up. 40, 50, 55%. Because I don't want him sounding drunk. <laughs> so again, words. you just go around and words, for example. Let's say I want to know what I'm reading here. Rotor. Oh, and that's it. So I know I'm on the rotor section. So then if I double tap in the rotor. Selected, selected, settings. In the characters. settings, so I can go through here and see what is on the list for the rotor. So for example, selected words. Words is selected, it says, and then beside it, reorder words. Button. It says draggable. reorder and it's draggable. So it's basically changing the uh, where it's at in the list. Not a huge deal because you're going to come around to it eventually. So you can go through, let's see, there's something. Hints. Hints, for example. It is not selected. I could select it by double tapping, but I don't want it in my rotor because I don't use hints. And if you'd like a great video on how to turn hints off, you can hop on over to Sam's page, which I'll link below. So that's pretty much the basics of the rotor. It's a turn like a dial, swiping up and down when you get there. And it's great for web pages if you wanna go through by heading or link. It's great for reading blocks of text. If you missed a word, you can go back and find out what it is. Maybe you're editing a text message. You wanna go back and edit a single word. It's great for stuff like that. So that's the basics of the rotor. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer it. But go ahead, check it out. Go to accessibility and the voiceover settings and check out the rotor because I know it'll be really helpful to you. Well, there you go, guys. Just a quick brief look at the rotor, the swiping up and down, all that good stuff. Hey, if you have questions about it, make sure to leave them in the comments below and I'd be happy to answer your questions. And don't forget, hop on over to The Blind Spot and see Sam's videos on VoiceOver 101 and all the great stuff he has on his channel. Make sure to subscribe while you're there. I'm sure he would appreciate it. Hey, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss another single video. Until next time, my name is Derek and I'll see you in the next one.